IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello everyone, and welcome to our sixth episode of Braves Beat. I'm Will Church. And I'm Charlie Wilson. So, Will, do you know what a horse says when he falls down? No. What? I'm falling and I can't giddy up. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> that is very funny. Well, we have a lot of interesting news to get into this week, so let's get started. Indian Hill High School celebrates the homecoming court winners. Congratulations to the class of 2024 Princess Lexi Larson and Prince Robin Coton, the class of 2023's Princess Michelle Fu and Prince Louis Vega Tor- Torres, the class of 2022's Princess Louisa Barrett and Prince Abe Hayes, and then my class, of course, the class of 2021 Qu- Queen Riley Grace and King Kevin Lewis. Congratulations. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Did you know that one in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in in her lifetime. This year, an estimated 42,170 women will die from breast cancer in the U.S. On average, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States. Bringing an awareness to this detrimental disease will increase donations. Let's go ahead and check in with Griffin and Daniel for our weekly sports report. Thanks, Will. I'm Griffin Wanker with this week's Sports Report. And I'm Daniel Chen. Let's start off with girls tennis. JV girls tennis team just had her season ending tournament last Saturday and did an amazing job. Congratulations to the JV girls tennis team on their great season. And your varsity girls tennis team is rocking and have made it to the final four in the team state tournament. Good luck at state. Our boys and girls cross country team had a great run at New Richmond this weekend with Hayden Witters winning the girls race and Liam Morris coming in second for the boys. Great job XC and a special shout out to Fahim Hossein for an amazing race. Our girls field hockey team beat Walnut Hills Tuesday 9-0. Their next game is the first round of the tournament next Thursday home versus Ursula. Good luck in the tournament. Our boys soccer team is headed to the OHSAA state tournament. Our first game will be next Monday October 19th at home versus Batavia at 7 p.m. If we win that game, the second game will be next Thursday, October 24th at 7 p.m. as well. The opponent will be determined by the winner of the other bracket. Keep it going and end the season strong. Our girls soccer team played Finningtown last Wednesday and won 6-0. We start the OHSAA tournament next Tuesday, October 20th at home. Good luck. Our girls volleyball team has been on a roll. The Biting sisters are making their mark. Michaela Biting is ranked first in the CHL for the blocks while her sister Hannah is in the top five in the CHL for aces. Kaylee Withers is running close behind, having the most kills for any freshman in CHL. Just three short of 100 kills. Piper Cowman ranks in over 300 digs. Senior Audrey Bristol, Piper Cowman, and Lauren Sewell had their last home game this week. Wish them luck as they head to the tournaments. Indian Hill Braves football team are listed as number two seed behind Clarksville, Clinton, Massey, and in front of rival Wyoming. Due to the seeding, the Dominic get three home playoff games that they keep winning before having to play away. This Saturday is their first game in the OHSAA tournament and is against the Oakwood Lumberjacks who are listed with a record of three and four. I wonder who's going to win. Tune in IHTN1 this Saturday at 7 to watch your Dogman's first playoff game. Well, that's all the sports news we have for you this week. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, guys. Let's keep up the great work, Braves. I hope you all haven't forgotten about Hispanic Heritage Month. For this week's highlight, we will focus on Selena Quintanilla. Selena was a Hispanic American singer who helped show the world that females could be as successful and as popular as men in the music industry. She became very popular very quickly, and she had a large, adoring fan club. Unfortunately, Selena was shot and killed by uh, Yolanda uh, Saldivier, her former fan club president. To this day, we remember Selena as one of the best-selling female artists in Hispanic music. This past Wednesday, juniors and underclassmen took the PSAT. The PSAT is a practice exam for the SAT and also allows for students who score high to qualify for the National Merit Scholarships. We already know you did great. Good work, Braves. This coming Tuesday, October 20th at 8 p.m., will be a special live streamed Unity event featuring Indian Hill Choir members, visual artists, high school staff, and members of the GSA and Courageous Conversations group. We hope you will tune into IHTN1 on Tuesday at 8 p.m. to witness this fantastic event. See the link in the description of the video that will take you straight to the IHTN1 YouTube channel. A few days ago, Niche ranked Indian Hill High School District number one in the state of Ohio and seventh in the nation for 2021. With all that we have done with these past few years, shifts we've made, challenges we have overcome, 
This is a testament to the continued level of excellence offered here at this great school. All who call Indian Hill their home have contributed to this honor and continue to do so for our Braves each day. Let's pass it over to Graham and David for this week's international news update. Welcome back to another week of fabulous reporting. This week we are focusing on spaghetti. I mean, I've always liked pasta, but... Oh, no, wait, this is about black holes. Well, I'm incredibly confused, but thank goodness for our death-defying defendant, David, detailing this disruption event. David? Thanks, Graham. I'm actually live in space right now, where a unique tidal disruption event has occurred. The star, about the same size as our very own sun, was sucked into a supermassive black hole. This is the closest event of this nature to happen, being only 215 million light years away. Hmm, this is fascinating, but I saw something in the script about spaghetti. Can you explain? Sure. The extreme gravitational pull of the black hole stretched the star vertically towards it. Thus, the star was considered to have undergone spaghettification, just like this. David? Hello? Well, it seems David himself has turned into some fine pasta. I'm off to find a new report. Back to you guys. This has been Graham Pierce. Seniors will be on the lookout for college application deadlines. Many schools have deadlines for early decision and early action applications on November 1st, and some even before that. If you need help with your college apps, make sure to talk to your counselor. Good luck. Wow, that was another jam-packed episode, but that's all the information we have for you this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. What's up, Rave Speed? <laughs> Going to premieres every day. Okay, I'm rapping. They say, I'm Cray. Okay. I got my lunchbox. You could call it a lunch crate. Oh. When I drop bars, I drop great. Oh. Yeah, Reese's eating cheese. Yeah, it's attracting all these bees. She need to get up out my way. I've been posted in this IH. I gotta make it up from the spot. Always gotta take my shot. Never late, checkmate, in the game of poker, cause you just a joker. We ain't a plan bad band, cause you just a salmon. But I am a mumbler, but in the jumbling. I'll be the jumbling of words. Jumbling like it a scramble. On my level, pedal to the metal. It is easy, I go fast, it's quite breezy, y'all. Gotta make it up for entertainment. Never late, all you do is take. May say the same thing, got the ka-ching. All they do is wishing a mission. I don't charge a mission, cause this is for free. You don't miss me, they run it away. Be be back another day I don't run out of things to say Out of space, please get out of my face <laughs>